So you show up to field day or a public service event and somebody says, plug your radio in here. Do you really trust it? Let me show you how you can build a polarity tester to make sure it's correct before you plug in your radio. So I'm going to use this LED for the polarity tester. It's a very special LED in that it has two LEDs inside the case. There's a red and a green. So when you apply voltage in one direction, it'll light up green. You apply the voltage in the other direction, it'll light up red. So this will give us a go-no-go -no -go polarity tester. So when you're using LEDs, you have to be a little careful. You just cannot directly, typically connect them up directly to a power source. They'll draw a large amount of current and burn themselves out. So typically you need to use a current limiting resistor in series with the LED. Now some LEDs have the current limiting resistor built in. This one does not, so we'll be using an external resistor. And we'll check the data sheet to see how much current or what the maximum current is so we can scale the resistor. Okay, here's a data sheet. I'm not sure if it's for the LED I have. I bought mine at a ham fester somewhere, you know, in a little bag with five of them for a couple bucks. Had them on the shelf. So anyway, this is probably close enough. So it shows the two terminals. Um, shows the pin out here and the short lead is the anode for the green the long lead is the anode for the red we'll see what that means in a second and over here is what we need to take a closer look at so kind of a couple things we need to to look on at the data sheet one is the maximum forward current going through so that's what we gotta make sure we we don't go beyond that so for the red LED it's 30 milliamps and for the green LED it's also 30 milliamps and the other number that we need to look at is the voltage drop across the LED. So the forward voltage in the red is 2 volts. The forward voltage for the green is 2.2. So, so we can use 2 volts and 30 milliamps when working with this LED. So I drew out the package for the LED. The short lead is for the green anode. The longer lead connects to the red anode. So an LED is made up of an anode and a cathode and we want to apply the positive voltage towards the anode side of the LED and the minus voltage towards, towards the cathode. So inside the package is two LEDs back to back and this is the green one and this is the red one and here's the anode. We want that to go towards the positive voltage. So this will go off to our 12 volts and with a resistor. Okay, so I've drawn the resistor in series with the green anode basically because that's going to go towards the positive. And now we need to determine what the size of that resistor should be. So from the data sheet we saw that we're going to drop 2 volts across the diode. So if I'm feeding this say with 12 volts that then means we're going to have a, have a 10 volt drop across the resistor. And the maximum amount of current through, through the LEDs uh, was specified as 30 milliamps. Now, we don't want to get anywhere near that. We want to be, be safe. So, so now's the time to look at a little bit of Ohm's Law. When we know two things, we can find out the third. So let's figure on, to make this easy numbers, see if it works, 10 milliamps and 10 volts. So what should the resistor be? Well, if you have a little... Ohm's law table like this, um, you know, around the outside is the value value that we want to determine. We want to determine the resistance, so that means we um, we divide the voltage by and by the current. So if we write that out here, that'll be R will be equal to 10 volts and divided by the current. 10 milliamps is 0.01 and that will be equal to 1000 ohms or 1k. So I have my 12 volt battery and I've made up a uh, power pole cable. The power pole connector is on one end and little pins to go into the breadboard on the other end. So I have my breadboard with my battery connected with the positive and negative leads. Here's the LED. You can see this is the shorter and this is the longer lead. So we want to connect it with the short lead towards the positive. I'll put that in. And I have a 1 kilo ohm, 1K resistor, brown, black, red. And I'm going to put that between the other pin of the LED and the ground. And you can see that's lit up green. And if the 
power polarity was reversed, I'm going to switch the leads here, put the, the plus on the resistor end and the um, negative on the LED end, you can see it lights up red. So if it's green, it means we're good to go. If it's red, don't plug your radio in. So 10 milliamps is, is plenty bright enough. So we'll use the 1K resistor. So to check the current, I put my meter in series with the positive uh, lead of uh, coming out of the battery to the positive lead of the LED, and it's showing 9 milliamps. So we got close. Good good enough. It's, it's nice and bright. Well, now comes time to package it up. So I have a floss container, an empty one here, and it pops open. So what I've done, I've drilled a hole in one end, and that's where the LED is going to pop out. And I cut this, and it actually uh, kind of split. Um, but that's okay. And I have this other hole down in here, which is where the cable, and just to be all closed up, and I'll have my, my LED on there. So I'll quickly put this together. So I have this short piece of wire, and I'll crimp on the power pole connectors. We all know how to do that now. Assemble connectors. Poke the LED in through the hole. I drilled it with a 3 16 inch drill bit and it's pretty tight so it'll stay in there and the right hand lead is the the green so that's going to be the plus and the minus over on that side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the green or the positive lead short and cut the lead on the resistor short and solder that on there and then uh, solder the the plus lead on the other end of the resistor and put a piece of heat shrink tubing over that so it doesn't short. And now I just need to connect up the black wire. And I'm going to connect that in the LED right next to the resistor body. I think I've got it. Push the leads out of the way. Close that up. Got my polarity checker. Okay, so I have it all finished up. I have my battery right here, and for the moment of truth, plug it in, and it's lit up green. So that means the power connectors are proper on, on both ends. So it's, so it's safe to plug my radio in at that power cord that was handed to me at uh, field day. Thanks for watching. This is Randy, K7AGE.